Well, fellow bee lovers, here we are again today. We're going uh, to look at this hive and and we're gonna to attempt to do something I've never done before and that's split a hive. So I'm gonna do the best job I can. So feel free to critique me in the comments and let me know what I did wrong or right, whatever. So here we go, Papa Bee here. I'm gonna go beeing. I'm gonna make an attempt to locate the queen and split this hive. If I can't find her, then I'll shake all the uh, bees down into the bottom box Put a queen excluder on and go from there. Let's remove this queen excluder and we will put it down here in front of the hive entrance let those girls go back where they need to go mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to uh, find this queen <coughs> Like I've said previously, the last time I saw this girl is the day I put her in this hive. She's very elusive, and uh, I've had difficulty locating her repeatedly. They're starting to draw out this frame, but I gotta tell you. They're not very enthusiastic about it. I mean that in the nicest way. Really drawing this one out good. You got a lot of nectar in there. some pollen. Doing a good job on it. Doing a good job on it. Let it go, girl. I'm attempting to do this with just as little smoke as possible so I don't run the queen off. I don't want to miss her because I don't want to mess this thing up. So I'm looking for her on every frame, whether it looks like she'll be there or not. Now we're getting into the thick of things. A lot more concentration here on the bees. I just don't want to lose a lot of use a lot of smoke and get them all riled up. We've already got some wind going this morning, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get them so mad that uh, they become a problem for me. I make enough problems without enticing a riot. As you can see today, I'm going to make a lot bigger effort to find her. Drawing out this frame really, really nice. They're working hard, making wax, making sales. They've got nectar and some of it. It's, it's going to be honey. It is getting really, really thick. So they're just doing what bees do. Hey, trying to sting my hive tool. That's not going to be very rewarding. 
point. Don't hurt. Oh, man. I just can't get over this. I have never seen so much pollen in my life in one frame. If you just look at that, this thing is just virtually all pollen. And on this side, we've got some pollen and we got a lot of new wax. See that white wax there? That's all new. All new. I don't, I can't picture her being on this frame uh, because it's mostly a stores and, uh, and pollen. Well, look at there. We got a big old drone. I, I knew there would be drones here because earlier in the week when I was in here, there was a tremendous amount of drone sales. And uh, so it doesn't surprise me at all to see this drone walking around. And he's a big one. Of course, all of them are. All they do is eat. And they have a, a one-time breeding opportunity. And that's about it. I don't want to... Uh, have a problem here without being so active that uh, that they just constantly attack me. Oh, no mercy. A full frame of brood. six drone cells there but we've got honey a little bit of pollen and a full frame of brood and when I say full frame I mean it literally full frame and I still don't see this lady it's hard to know where she would lay here since both sides of this frame are uh, are laid up cap brood. <clears throat> Got some drone cells along the bottom. And this is a foundation frame. smoke here and get riled up. Get riled up. Now this rain is partially hatched out and uh, and she's come back and relayed some of them. Now look at here, we got a queen cup. We got two, we got three cups. We got four cups and five. But she hasn't laid in them. Mm -hmm. They're all dry. All of them dry. Mm -hmm. But she's laid this thing up, man. I'm telling you, she here where they've hatched out. She's got it laid up. Yes, she does. I'm going to ignore those cups for the time being since I'm going to attempt to split this thing. So that means I'll be back in here tomorrow. Uh, I don't find her today. They just insist on uh, on stinging this hot to. And 
the pheromones are flowing. irritated. And agitated. This is the frame I put in here earlier in the week, I do believe. Uh, they haven't laid it up yet. I'm trying to concentrate on finding this girl, and so I'm not doing a whole lot of talking. Uh, another drone, big old drone. All those things are big. I'm trying to get some of this propolis off of here. I can move these frames around a little easier. Again, we're getting irritated here. But I have to bring on the smoke. More brood, more brood, and uh, and she has come back in there uh, and relayed that. Those that have hatched out, she has relayed that, and we've got larva in there. Still, still plenty of uh, a brood to be hatched out on this frame. see any uh, queen cells on that one. And the one here up against the wall. More brood. Another queen cup. Now, I'm going to move these into another box temporarily. Here we go. 